You're tuned in to Tackle Fanatics TV. <laughs> on a very weedy estate lake in Dorset today and it's probably a situation that many of you will face in the next couple of weeks or a couple of months. As all this vegetation starts to grow you find it harder and harder to catch fish and importantly land fish. Um, it's horrendous here and I know many pits up and down the country are full of weed. So the tackle I use is really important because you don't want to hook anything and lose it. So let's start from the rod. I've got a Terry Hearn model. Although it's got a strong test curve, it's very forgiving. So I don't get a lot of hook pulls. I've got an Onyx big pit reel, um, and that's important. I don't need the big pit reel for casting, but it gives a lot of cranking power, and I can gain line quickly. So if I'm holding fish from vegetation, trying to get them in quick, this really helps. Now, you'll probably notice this line here, it's horrible. Absolutely awful, I hate using it. It casts terrible, I can only get about 60 yards, but it's 25 pound fluorocarbon. It's so, so strong, it'll never break on you. It's like having a leader straight through. It also sinks really quickly. And when you've got weed beds, it'll actually sink between the weed beds because it's so heavy. Many people think with lines and fluorocarbons in particular, they'll be better off if it's thin, but you're actually better off if it's thick. The thicker it is, the heavier it is, and it sinks down to the bottom. And like I already said, it will not break. My standard fishing is 15 pound Synchro XT, but for this extreme weedy waters and also small venues where I can cast short distances, it's unbeatable at 25 pound. I will warn you though, if you try it, expect terrible terrible tangles, um, line twist, and the casting will be severely limited. But if you overcome all of those, it will give you an advantage over any other line that I know. So try not to put you off on that. Moving on, then the terminal tackle is really simple. I've got a pit of tungsten putty around a float stop, just a few feet back, and that just pin everything down. The fluorocarbon, like I already said, is so thick, it's like sea line, that will sink. But this just helps to get it down because as I've already pointed out, when you're fishing weedy waters, you need to ride over weed beds and sink between them. Otherwise you get that taut line, carp come in, no matter what you do at the rod tip end, there'll be a taut line in the swim, flank the carp and they'll be gone. I like everything pinned down. As you probably notice, I've got a piece of um, tungsten tubing, anchor tubing on here, the heaviest 1.75 mil. And then I've got an ESP lead clip system. And I'll just, when I'm putting the lead on, I'll just, just squeeze on the tail rubber so the lead can be ejected immediately. I don't want to lose leads all the time on many venues. It costs a fortune and I, like you, have to buy leads. But on waters when it's really important and that's in vegetation, then it lose your lead at all times. Then I've got a little boom section and then this great stuff that's fairly new to the market, which is the, um, the loaded semi-stiff from ESP. It just, just enough to keep kicking the bait away if a cop sucks it up, ejects it, it's just enough, it will reset itself every time. My rigs are always very simple. I never complicate anything. And you can see here, the most basic of bottom rigs. I'm fishing over a clean substrate. It looks very weedy behind me, but there are clean spots. And I'm finding one of those, that's a size five gripper and a beak point. Now that's also key. In weedy waters, I use a big point. It'll just hang in a little bit better. And at times when you've got weed all up the line, there may be a bit of slack that you could do nothing about while you're trying to sort the problem out and get the weed off your line. And the big point will hold in far better. There's a sticky krill boilie that I put great faith in and caught a lot of fish over the last few months to over 40 pounds on. A little bit of shrink tubing and a piece of shrink tubing on the bend as well 
to just make sure it comes off exactly where I want to. So the hook turns every time in the mouth. Simple stuff, not complicated, dead easy. I fished for the last 24 hours. I've had six fish um, to mid twenties. So it's all working. Don't complicate anything. Fish strong tackle so you don't lose fish. And by using the kind of equipment I'm showing you, I'm sure you'll land plenty this summer. You've been tuned into TFTV. Tackle Fanatics stock an extensive range of tackle and bait from all the leading manufacturers. To check it out, go to www.tacklefanatic.co.uk. Remember, Tackle Fanatics also offer finance to make your tackle purchase more affordable. Tight lines and wet nets from everybody at TFTV.